app for today. It's called Shrink, and uh, it allows you to do what you see right now. Uh, this is Iconoclasm's 10 by 10 overlap. And before, it was very, very difficult to find an icon set that could support it and not have overlapping icons. And you can see I have very, very tiny icons in the glass cart theme that are able to fit this typeset. Now, the tweak is called shrink because what it allows you to do is change the size of your icons in this really simple uh, settings tab and make them anywhere from 25% their original size to their full size. So. Uh, right now I have it on half their size and uh, the best part about this is that it not only works with themes but it also works with Iconoclasm and InfiniDoc. So uh, on my dock down here I have multiple, uh, you could have your scrolling dock, you could have up to 10 in the bottom which would be sort of like the uh, icon set up up here. And also uh, these are screenshots so that I would not have to do a lot of respring but uh, you can also have uh, the iconoclasm setups where you have multiple of these shrinked icons in these setups and it looks very very neat now the only issue I've come across in this in my uh, covering of this application is this right here and this is the live clock icon from glass cart and what it the issue is I suppose is that uh, to create this icon you need a certain like a certain picture and then the clock to rotate around it so the shrinking method does not work but for every other icon whether it's Cydia, App Store or default it shrinks it and uh, keeps the theme uh, but from there let's go ahead and show you some of the UI let's go ahead and get out of pictures and you'll see some time has passed um, but this is just the standard 5x5 five five springboard with the uh, scrollable dock at the bottom but um, what you're going to do is you're going to go into settings, which is in my uh, dock right here. I'm going to go into settings and uh, scroll down till you see shrink. And it should look like this. And click on that. And then you're going to be greeted with just one simple button. And now this is an early version. There could be updates. Uh, but the, right now, this is all you have, and so you can do 100%, 80%, 75%, 66%, 50 33 and 25 Right now, as you can see, I have it on 50 Let's go ahead and see as small as they can shrink them. We'll go ahead and hit 25 And when you do this, you're going to have to go back to shrink and then click respring. Now, I took those screenshots so we wouldn't have to do this, but after respring, I'll meet you guys back at the springboard to show you 25 And we're back, and as you can see, we have truly microscopic icons and I'll scroll over another page so you can see the true scale of the uh, versus the uh, stubborn live clock but um, you can also see that when the shrinking is done it is done both down and to the center so that the icon if it were shrunk is going to be at the middle and bottom of where it is now when you're doing uh, you know just traditional 5x5 five five stuff it's not that big of a deal but when you're doing um, more along the lines of more iconoclasm stuff. Keep that in mind. So if your pictures or whatever will come out looking a little weird, that's why because it it shrinks to the center and then to the bottom. But um, this this is a pretty simple app, but a very very useful one. Uh, finally, we can have all of our uh, you know seven by seven springboards and whatnot with, while keeping our themes and not have to make sacrifices in that way. But uh, if you have any questions or if there's uh, if you run into any issues, go ahead and leave them in the comments or PM me. But this has been Kyle from Mission Start. Thank you for watching.